You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next video in our retro Happy Meal toy series. We have Doug's first movie from Disney. Uh, toys 1 through 8 and the original bag from 1999, which, you know, to me, is always exciting. So let me uh, get to the bag right away. I'll move the toys out of the way, come back, and let's take a look at the bag. All right, so here's the bag, and it's not in the greatest condition, but imagine, you know, back in 1999, someone going to the drive-thru, ordering the food, and keeping the bag. So it's Doug's first movie, now on video. Doug and Skeeter have to save Herman Melville, the Lucky Duck Lake Monster, from disaster. Herman has left footprints everywhere, but look closely. Two of the footprints aren't his. So you have to look around and see the footprints. Answers on bottom. This side has a maze. It says, help Herman, the monster from Lucky Duck Lake, get to safe water, but be sure you avoid Robo Crusher, Mr. Bluff, Spies, and Roger. All right, and then let's just take out this side here. It says, Doug finally gets his dance with Patty. The night is perfect for Doug and Patty, but the clear lake water isn't reflecting the night sky. What's different? So you're looking up here and then down here and seeing what's different. And in the back of the bag, it says, Can you draw Doug and Pork Chop? Use these outlines and hints to help you get started. Don't be discouraged if you aren't as good as you want to be. It takes practice. And a couple little more stories down here, which I won't read to you. So that is the 1999 Happy Meal bag. I'm going to come back right now and uh, work on the toys, show you one through four. All right, it's toy number one, which happens to be Doug. Doug looks like a nice figure. Let's check him out. Now, I've never seen a movie. Had to go do a quick check to see if I've seen it or any pieces of it, and I do not remember it at all. Oh, so Doug does something. Press his back. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. His cheeks light up. See that? Probably won't show up too well in the dark, so I'm not going to do that for you. But now you see he blushes, and it's a keychain. Stand up. Let me just give you a nice zoom in there. Let's get this behind your head. And look at this nice keychain part. Heavy chain swivels. It just looks to be like a nice condition. Nice condition. A nice quality toy from 1999. So there is number one. I'll just turn Doug around. You see he pressed by his flowers here and that's what lights up his cheeks. Can't see it too well there. Try one more time here. Ooh, there you go. The Blushing Doug. Alright, number two. Number two now is Pork Chop. That's his dog sidekick, I guess. It's always I'm always interested to hear in the comments. You know, maybe this was your, maybe this was your favorite. Uh, look, oh cool, he clips. So he's a clip on. So his legs, so you can get him to stand. Hopefully, head turns. Let's balance him. I might have to put his head behind him. Close. Ah, if I turn him this way, then you get a nice good look of him. There you are. Now it looks like you squeeze his hands, and you can clip onto things. So what was I, what was I saying? Yes, uh, it's always fun to hear from you in the comments. If this is your favorite movie, or this is the one you remember, or you collected these toys. There's some great stories out there. So leave them in the comments if you have a great story. That is the number two toy. Oops, sorry buddy. Number three is Quail Man. It looks like a Q. Is he sort of like the mailman? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not familiar with it. Back from 1999. It looks like he is the same Doug, but in a quail. Oh, here we go. Pull the string. It's like the old Fisher Price toys where you pull the string. Whee! Oh, I see. It's like he's swimming across the screen. That's a neat little toy. Now look at the quality. Look at all the different component pieces, the colors. Just the nice overall 
quality of a piece like this. So it's a backpack clip-on. So you're going to clip it on your backpack. Whee! Now Fisher-Price had a bunch of toys like this that you'd pull and then the arms would go up. I, thought, I think they were crib toys. There he goes. Swimming through the water. Quail Man. Hmm. Don't know much about the movie, so I can't really offer any insight there. So this one is Skeeter Valentine. Ooh, look at that. Colorful. And he's got googly eyes. His eyes actually move in there. It's another nice heavy-duty keychain. Okay, so his head turns and his arms move. So we can pose him in somewhat of a position. And then let you look at him. Wonder if I should just go into the next set. Just go. Haven't really done a full non-stop Happy Meal video. That's Skeeter. Nothing lights up. I don't see any action or other, you know, kinds of buttons or anything. So there you go. Let's go right into it. Number five. Another Doug. This is probably one of those obs more obscure sets that... Okay, what's going on? Ah, it's a pen. So I can write with my Doug. That's neat. Oh, so this button pushes back the pen. I think it writes back from 1999. Let me just grab a piece of paper so there's going to be a little silence. Imagine that. And it's writing pretty good. So that's a 1999 pen. Doug. Take a look at that. It's nice that it does stand up when the pen's retracted. Well, it'll be interesting to see how many Doug fans are out there. So this is Patty Mayonnaise. Or Mayonnaise, how do you say? Good old Patty. She's got a cloth skirt. Another heavy duty keychain. I'm just amazed. Like newer keychains that they make don't have this heavy duty work, metal work. Okay, she doesn't do anything. No buttons anywhere. Arms move, head turns, legs don't. But she has fabric on her. And I got her to balance. There you go. So not much to her. Gotta have that loop just right or she'll fall over. So it looks like she's holding a box of candy or a candy heart. Alright, let's move her out of there. Let's go to number seven. Doug Treasure Keeper. Ooh, it's a big Doug head. Cool. So just by the name Treasure Keeper, it's like some kind of storage with a giant Doug head. Look at that. Ooh, that's cool. Ah, it's like an old coin holder. Those are neat. Do you remember those? It's got a nice giant clip on it. Look at that. It's actually a pretty big toy for a giant head. Let's see if we can get a better shot just so I don't have to hold it and you can look right at it. Well, that was number seven. Pretty neat. And you just press it. And that's where you put your coins. See? Or whatever you want to put in there. And number eight. I'll just leave the camera there. Number eight is the monster of Lucky Duck Lake. It looks like his eyes might light up or something. We'll see. 
pretty nice sized toy again. No instructions on any of these so far, but I see a button. Eyes don't light up, but I bet you they're supposed to. Hmm. Well, all right, there you go. That is the last toy. I'll just leave him like that. See if he stands. No, he does not stand, but he will lay down. So let me zoom in on him. And of course, what I need to do is just get set up, uh, display the whole collection. I'll do that next. Unfortunately, I've got nothing. Let's see, hands, hands turn just a little, but that's really it. I'm guessing his eyes are supposed to light up. Nothing back there. All right, so that is toy number eight. Let me put them all on my spinner there, and we'll take a look at the whole collection. All right, so I have all eight toys on the spinner here, so I can give you a nice close-up of each one as they roll around, unless they're laying down like this one. I'm curious to see who saw this movie, who even remembers it. Leave it in the comments. And if you're a Doug fan, what's your fir uh, favorite Doug toy? I have to go with this. I just like the giant Doug head. And I can put pennies in it. Too bad this one didn't work. So that was the number eight toy. Remember number eight? So there's the set. I think you've seen it all now. Leave the comments. And, you know, I really like doing these older toys because they're just fun to learn about, fun to check them out. And we do have a bunch of other videos, so those are always in the description. In the description, we usually put uh, playlists, any links, plus something called LPS Thoughts. I don't know if you know that, but in the descriptions, I write extra things in there on every video. You know, things that I thought of later or other ideas. So read those in there. It's called LPS Thoughts. Check them out. And thanks for watching. And again, you can always also just search our channel for Happy Meal. You'll see hundreds of videos. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.